so the rcnn algorithm was first introduced in uh, in the year 2013 so it has different uh, moving parts as uh, seen from uh, from this uh, uh, from this ppt so uh, the first part is about you have that image and then you extract uh, um, regions of proposals now proposal regions are are uh, regions where there is a likelihood of finding an object we don't know what object it is but we know that there is some object or the other in this region so that's that's called the region of proposals now from the region of proposals you extract certain features uh, uh, using uh, something like a cnn to extract the features and then it um, it went for uh, classifications to classify those regions whether uh, you know what class it is like uh, for, say for in our example whether it's a pothole or vegetation or a vehicle or or, or whatever so uh, if you look at this um, uh, the the rcnn there are different moving parts into it uh, like the first one is obviously the selective search algorithm itself it's a it's a separate algorithm which is again used to select a lot of or uh, give a lot of proposals into uh, into uh, saying that okay uh, this specific region has got a something like an object there and then and then the last uh, last bit which is the uh, which is the classification itself uh, which was based on svms and svms were traditionally used for uh, for the first rcnn which were used now in terms of performance uh, it had a tremendous amount of uh, of accuracy much better than your your traditional methods like uh, your uh, uh, image pyramids and uh, sliding windows however uh, there were two problems in this uh, one is the network was quite uh, you know broken apart you know there were different moving parts like you have your selective search and then your cnn which is which is your core deep learning network and your classification with uh, with svms which is which is outside uh, um, you know your the whole deep learning network so uh, and the second one was it was pretty slow especially the uh, the selective search the the number of proposals which were uh, generated um, was was pretty slow and so therefore, uh, therefore uh, the same uh, authors again worked on uh, worked on this uh, uh, this algorithm to improve this algorithm and after a year uh, another uh, algorithm came into being and called the fast rcnn and we'll be seeing the fast rcnn now the fast rcnn came up with uh, some innovative uh, changes in its whole architecture so if you remember uh, in the rcnn you had this image and then was the region proposals but this uh, this changed in the fast rcnn architecture and uh, uh, the, uh, the one of the first processes to happen was the feature extractor and this again was a cnn uh, feature extractor and uh, it was on the on the uh, feature extractors or the features which the feature maps which were extracted using a cnn cnn network we had the region proposals again region proposals were done uh, using the selective search uh, algorithms and another innovation which was brought in was called the roi pooling now what roi pooling is uh, a fixed size window were um, uh, convoluted over uh, over these uh, regions of proposals uh, and then the 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 roi pooling just like the the pooling which we have seen in a typical cnn layer was uh, was was done and um, so you uh, and that was the layer called roi pooling and finally uh, the classifier was again a softmax and a regress and it was part of the network so you didn't have to rely on a external uh, classifier like an like an svm which we which was used in the rcnn so that was that was the um, that was these were the changes which happened in the the fast rcnn um, architecture and uh, fast rcnn had um, good performance uh, just like the rcnn uh, however again the one of the major problem areas was uh, the speed of uh, execution speed of implementations which was kind of slow because of the selective search algorithm and that's that's something which which was actually slowing up the whole uh, network because uh, uh, a typical selective search algorithms gave a lot of proposals and a lot of uh, proposals which were uh, which were likely to have objects and not likely to have objects and that really slowed up uh, the whole process and this was kind of corrected in uh, in the next um, uh, algorithm or the next version of it which came exactly a month after the fast rcnn uh, was um, um, was was uh, um, developed or it was uh, published 
and that's called the faster rcnn now let's look at the faster rcnn faster rcnn has got different moving parts and we'll see each of those different moving parts 